Hey guys, so a couple weeks back we had a water leak under our bathroom sink and I was able to fix it pretty easily. And then this last time out when we were in Elkhart, Indiana, we found another water leak under the sink. It was in a different spot this time though. So I got to looking at it and it was really in a place where I couldn't video it because it's up under the sink. The hot water line that goes to the bathroom faucet was leaking. And it was actually pretty hard to find because it was such a small leak. And when I realized where it was, I put my hand up under the sink and tried to turn it to tighten it and then water just started to spray like crazy. So what I'm gonna do today is pull the faucet out and uh, I end up buying a new faucet because why not? <laughs> the, the faucets that come in these campers are just so incredibly cheap plastic. I figured for $34, I'm gonna pick up a new faucet. And at the same time, I picked up some extra PEX fittings. I found that they, at Home Depot, they had 25 feet of half inch PEX for around eight bucks. So I went ahead and picked that up too. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you where the leak was coming from and how I'm gonna make the repair. Okay, so I'm going to do my best here to try and show you where the water leak is coming from. This is the area underneath the bathroom sink. This is kind of where all of the, the water lines collect. And if we follow these hoses up, up through here, ugh, the red and blue goes up behind the sink. That's what feeds the faucet. And you know, I obviously really can't get the camera in there to show you anything. Here's the bathroom faucet that just comes with the camper. Now I went ahead and I disconnected everything because obviously I can't record it because there's no room to do so. So this you can see is extremely cheap plastic. So this is the water line, the hot side that goes to the faucet that was leaking. All I did was try and tighten it by hand and it just started to spray water out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fish this back out from under the sink, and I'm going to cut this PEX. And I'm gonna use a flexible faucet supply line to go up to the faucet. Because you can see this line is pulled at an angle. And I think that's part of the problem of why it was leaking. It's, it's pulled at an angle and PEX, it's pretty hard, it's pretty pretty stiff, it doesn't like to bend very well. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the cold side too. If I can get under here a little. So I'm gonna cut this somewhere around here. And I'm going to put on a new fitting, uh, half inch pipe thread fitting. So that way I can use the flexible faucet supply lines to go to the new faucet. I think that should reduce any of the, the strain on those connections. So here's some of the stuff that I got while I was at Home Depot. I got a set of PEX crimpers, oops, PEX cutters. I got a bag of the clamps that I need and then I've got the half inch to half inch pipe thread adapters. I got two 16 inch flexible faucet supply lines. I got 25 feet of half inch PEX. I don't need it, but I figure I should just have it because this thing has been never ending water leak problems. I'd rather have it and not need it. And then this is the new faucet that I bought. It was 34 bucks, so I figured why not. So just for the sake of comparison, here is the original faucet that came with the camper. So I'll take this out. They'll just set the new one in place. Yeah, <laughs> that looks much better and it's not plastic. Okay, so I removed everything from under here. I got the lines disconnected. So what I'm gonna do is cut both of these off so I can install my half inch, half inch to half inch uh, male pipe thread adapter onto the PEX. Well, I guess I will start here on the hot side. See. Use my PEX cutter. And I'm going to put it right about here. So, let's clamp down. 
There you go. <laughs> no turning back now. <laughs> this piece of crap can go in the trash. I'm not really sure where it was leaking from, but I don't really care at this point now. So now that it's cut clean and square, I'm going to take the clamp. It's a half inch clamp because I'm using half inch pecs. I'm going to place it over the pecs. I'm going to take my pipe thread adapter, slip it over the end. Now you want the clamp to be about a quarter inch from the fitting. Right, then you take the open end of the crimper, slip it over the clamp. Once it's all the way down, it should release. If it releases, you did it successfully. There we go. It is clamped. So now for the cold side, same thing. Just gonna do it about the same spot. I'm sorry if the lighting isn't great. I'm doing my best here. Cut it off. And there is number two. Same thing as before, put the clamp over the pipe. Install the fitting. Once it's spaced correctly. The crimper to the end and squeeze it. There you have it. So there is a better close-up shot after the two PEX male connectors are crimped on. Of course, it doesn't want to focus. Okay, so as far as the installation of this faucet goes, I'm just gonna set it down into the sink and then from underneath, you got these little uh, locking rings that hold it in place. They install right onto the threaded pieces here in the bottom where your water lines connect. Just make sure the faucet is nice and straight before you tighten it down. Okay, so the faucet is all tightened down, and now I gotta install these these flexible supply lines. These are half inch on both ends. I'm gonna take one end to the hot and cold and the other end goes to the faucet. All right, so the water lines are connected again. By the way, this right here is where the city water connects from outside. So I do unscrew that to pull that hose or that PEX line out. You can see some of that flexible tubing up there. And maybe you might be able to see right there is the other connection I made. Up there under the sink, I was literally tightening, tightening those up by feel because there is just no room there. So I guess the, the real test now, let's see, it's, it's in there, is to turn the pump on. Water pump is on. The pump did run. Probably some air in here. Hot works. And the cold works. All right, look underneath. Let's see if there's any leaks. I don't see any leaks yet. <laughs> I guess time will tell. So this is the hot water pack so that I had cut off because it was leaking and when I said I tightened it up by hand literally I just gave it a little twist and it started spraying violently spraying water out and looking at it the seal in here that looks fine as far as the swivel part it it looks fine I don't see any and I mean I don't see any 
problems with it. Even the, uh, the clamp that they crimped on, it looks fine. I don't see any issues with it. I don't know why it leaked. I don't know, maybe it's just junk. <laughs> so I even looked at the faucet itself, where the uh, water line connects, because it just it screws on here like this. And I didn't see any issues with it at all. I couldn't tell you why it leaked. Oh well. I just made it better, I guess. So people are probably wondering why I do my own work on a brand new travel trailer. It's a 2017, has a two year warranty from Jayco. The reason why is because <laughs> I want it done right. I just like to fix things, I guess. I'd rather work on stuff myself than take it to a dealer where this is gonna sit for two or three weeks just so they can put a new fitting on the end of the packs. Yeah, tools are expensive, but I always, always, always <laughs> love an excuse to buy new tools. And these PEX tools are something I'm gonna carry with me in the trailer, along with the extra fittings and stuff. That way, next time we're out, if we have another problem, or if a neighbor has a problem, I can just fix it right then and there. It's aggravating, but Anybody that buys a brand new RV knows there's going to be problems, there's going to be bugs that need worked out. Just so happens, I kind of like working on things, so <laughs> I'll just fix it myself.